an oblique Brentwood boozer, Barry. A bawdy, big-bellied bully of a bloke who beat up his bird, knocked back the belly buster breakfast, blew bellicose burps over the bar and brought forth a barrage of brainless bollocks. Big wigs in Belgium banning our bendy bananas, Bavarian bastards. Boffin birds on the BBC banging on about bankers' bonuses, bloody Bolsheviks, bummers. Those benders broke Britain, he observed brilliantly, bringing up a broad buttock for a boisterous bottom burp. Bloody broke Britain, he barked, banging his bottle on the bar and eyeballing Ben, the blandly urbane barman who Barry believed to be a blatant backstairs bum bandit. Bang to rights, Barry was boss of the boozer, brow beater of the bar, Brentwood's big beast, but Barry hadn't banked on the blob. The Blob, a big black boggy ball, the breadth of a bendy bus bounced down Brentwood's broken down boulevards, binging on bag ladies, bouncers, bookies, beauticians, barbers, bakers, bursers, bingo callers, bricklayers, bellboys, and anybody didn't briskly do a bunk. My beautiful baby! A broad ball, but the Blob just boshed it like a bonbon. Blob, 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 blob. The bloody hubbub broke up Barry's verbose bitter outburst about Benite bores who barrack big business with banal belly aching. A brace of bones belonging to a bashful botanist the blob had bathed back out, broke the boozer's bay window and bumped Barry off his bar stool beautifully. Bundled onto his bum, Barry burst a blood vessel. His buff biceps bristled. He bounded out the boozer, bent on rebuttal and bashed boldly into the blob. Blob, 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 blob. It burbled its burly brogue, a baffling babble to Barry's Brentwood brain. You bastard, he bellowed, brandishing a brawny bunch of fives. You big bloody bastard! He began boxing, bringing a breathtaking barrage of boffs and biffs to the blob's bobbly body. But the blob was unblemished. It batted Barry off with a blase bump of its belly. Barry bounced off a building, broke his back and blubbed. The blob bore its black barbed teeth and bit Barry's body to bits. The beast of Brentwood was beaten and the blob Belch for Britain. Blah. Before bouncing off to bother the bigoted barflies of Braintree, Basildon, Barking, and Billericay. Bye bye.